make up your mind, you're going to stay right here. And it's interesting that we have that phrase, to make up your mind. You can interpret it lots of different ways. But here it's basically a matter of setting a determination and then trying to bring the rest of your mind in line with that determination. You're going to stay with the breath. Any other thoughts that come up right now, you're not going to go with them. Your focus is going to be right here. That's where sounds coming in from outside. You don't have to fight them. If you fight them, that becomes the object of your meditation. So just let them go through, go through, go through while you're with the breath. And then use your discernment, what kind of breathing would be good to stay with, easy to stay with. And then stick with that. It's in this way that your determinations actually make a difference. All too often we set the mind on a particular idea and then we change our course. As the Buddha said, the, nothing he could think of changes course as quickly as the mind. Nothing reverses its direction as quickly as the mind. So you've got to be very mindful that you're not going to change, you're going to stay right here. And that will start rearranging things in the mind. Ideas that used to come in and just push their way in now encounter a pushback. And they may fight for a while. But if you're firm in being right here, they'll have to give in. Because the reason you give in to them is because you start siding with them and then the push starts coming from you. So you've got to make sure that you're on this side. You're on the side of the Dharma. You're on the side of meditation. You're on the side of your concentration. And it is taking sides inside. As the Buddha pointed out, getting involved in fights outside just leads to more animosity. But when you get involved in fighting with your own defilements, that's a victory that doesn't have any bad consequences. So make up your mind that you're going to be on the side of the breath, not on the side of your defilements, the side of your thoughts, your random whatever coming through the mind. This way, when you get established like this, then the currents of the mind will start changing directions and they'll start heading toward the end of suffering rather than heading toward suffering, which they've been doing for so long. As the Buddha said, the difference lies between ignorance and knowledge. But you gain knowledge only when you want it. So make sure that you want the knowledge, you want to understand why you're suffering and how you can put it into it. And then you can follow through with that desire.